In 2019, 33-year-old Soha Muhammad joined this group of women to create Tablet Alsit, a band that gives women a chance to sing freely and play the tabla. Mohammed has since been traveling with eight other percussionists across Egypt. Paintings displayed on the walls of temples in southern Egypt show women playing drums, singing and chanting. This dates back thousands of years and I am very happy it's coming back to life. In our culture nowadays, unlike before, women who play the tabla or sing are perceived as indecent. That's why we are sometimes criticized. Many Egyptians associate the tabla drum with belly dancers and seedy nightclubs. But despite its image problem, percussionists are giving the ancient instrument a new lease of life. Mustafa Baka organizes improvised drumming session for amateurs. The goal of the drum circle, drumming sessions for amateurs, is to make people happy, to release the negative energy and be happy about what they are doing, be it big or small. The beat of the tabla is ubiquitous animating every Egyptian wedding, concert and impromptu dance party. It's a kind of group therapy in a simple way with no resistance where people can express their feelings without having to talk or when they feel like they can't open up to anyone or are not confident enough. Sharing their feelings could make them feel better, so music therapy through the tablet sessions leads to the same results with as little complications as possible. In the distant past, most professional tablet players have been men, but now more and more Egyptian women are taking up the ancient instrument either professionally or as a hobby.